The goal of reading is understanding, but before you can understand what you read, you have to be able to decipher the print. Phonics or decoding is the first step to comprehension, and if you can't read, then you can't comprehend. But for many children with language impairment, decoding skills might be fairly competent, perhaps because they've overcome an earlier problem, or maybe they didn't ever have a problem, but nonetheless they have difficulties with text understanding. So why is this the case? Well, first of all, many children with language impairment have vocabulary difficulties. When you read a text, you meet a lot of words, often unfamiliar words, and if for a lot of them you don't know the meaning, then this will obviously obscure or, or affect your comprehension. Other children will be okay on word meanings, but they will have difficulty with sentence structures. And of course, the sentence structures that we meet in written text are much more difficult than those we, that we use in spoken conversation. Many sentences will be very long, or they'll include embedded clauses like the boy who was walking his dog slipped on the ice. And these can be very difficult for children to understand, particularly if they have problems with spoken grammar. Another problem for children with language impairment is that reading requires the child to go beyond the literally printed words. They need often to read between the lines. The need to make inferences, and as is well known, children with language impairments, particularly if they have pragmatic language difficulties, will have problems in inference making. Finally, when reading text, we sometimes have to integrate information across wide spans of the text, so perhaps from the beginning to the end of the story, or across paragraphs. To do this requires considerable memory capacity, and verbal memory is a significant area of weakness for most children with language impairment. The important point here is that parents and teachers need to understand that even if a child can read fluently, they could be having significant difficulties with reading comprehension, and these will only be apparent if the child is actually asked questions about the content of what they are reading. Otherwise, their reading comprehension difficulties can remain hidden. Reading comprehension difficulties can really affect performance in school, not just in subjects like English and history, where the demands of comprehension are obvious, but also in areas like maths and science, where often written materials uh, are involved in the curriculum. In another clip, we will be discussing what can be done to help a child to improve their understanding of text.